Welcome back, y'all. I'm Gerald David. And I'm Kitty. And this is Two Aprons. Tonight, we have a good backyard favorite. Bringing two of you in the kitchen, being a little weird with it. You know how we do. It's going to be pimento cheeseburgers. With roasted potatoes. Okay, here's the basics. And of course, um, we've already washed our... So it's cheating a little bit. We've already washed our vegetables. Not our buns. hamburger buns, though. So these are potato buns. Oh, are they? Pretty sure. I don't know. That's awesome. <laughs> These are some Yukon Gold Potatoes. Delicious. One of my fave kinds. Two more. Ooh, yummy, yummy. It looks like butter, but it's not. We have some white cheddar cheese. Yummy. Mayo. That's a classic. That's a classic. Cheddar cheese. Picante peppers. And I believe these are pickled. Let me verify right quick before we move on. I think on. you're right. Pickled picante peppers. Nope, sweet picante peppers. So. Well, well, that's easier to say know. anyway. Well, the alliteration is not spice blend. Our spice blend tonight is, again, one of our favorites. It's garlic powder, onion powder, uh, smoked paprika, and whole dried parsley. So, yeah. an oldie but a goodie. And, of course, more garlic. Garlic. All of the garlic. Well, not all we use some, but most of the garlic. The vast majority of the garlic. <laughs> I use, like, five cloves off that bad boy. Yes, and all of it <laughs> worth it. All of it worth it. And all of it in one dish. That's right. So we, we don't already get have, sick a lot. <laughs> that's right. So we already have the oven preheating at 450. You can go ahead and get yours going now. So the first thing we're going to do is Kitty will chop the potatoes and I'm going to get ready on this garlic. Potatoes. Which knife do you want for the garlic, babe? Uh, I'll do the orange handled one. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. He knew I had this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh everywhere. that is. I wouldn't recommend that with a clove necessarily, but I like it. See how easy that was? I'll be finding garlic later everywhere, but everywhere. Other than that. <laughs> what does that smell? Oh, it's just some garlic I lost the other day. Vampires will not be messing with us come this Halloween season. Exactly. That is important, you know. I'm gonna do about four cloves. It says one, so I, you know, quadruple that, of course. Sounds fair. I thought so. I am going to do something with these potatoes. Potatoes. I'm going to have them lengthwise, which I already did, because I'm brilliant. And then I'm going to cut them into one half inch pieces. Which isn't too bad. What would be bad? So that's not too bad. No, no if you cut them. would be bad? <laughs> if you cut them too small, I like them. Yeah. One inch is like bite size. So it's perfectly delicious. A little bit of ketchup goes a long way. I love ketchup. That's pretty much all potatoes are. It's a delivery system for ketchup and for her ranch. I was going to say I disagree. <laughs> it's a delivery system for ranch. For ranch. You may argue, but it's pretty much a delivery system. No one's ever like, ooh, potatoes. No, they're thinking about the dip. Some people are like, ooh, potatoes. Super but carb people. Say what? Super carb people. Ah, uh, yeah. I am not one, so yeah. that is lost on me. But What is a super carb carb? Somebody person? who's like obsessed with carbs. Like trying to get away from them? I don't know people no, trying to get away like from them. people like, who love carbs, man. I definitely do love them. I didn't know that was a whole like designation. Oh, yeah. I usually know most people trying to like stay away. Carb free, you can't have carbs. I lose the gluten. I am not a huge carb person, but there are a lot of people who are like obsessed with bread, obsessed mm -hmm. with all that fun stuff. When I was in Italy, you saw that constantly. It's either seafood or pasta. Both they do very, very well. Well, seafood's not... Oh, you mean just in Italy? Oh, yeah, in Italy. Like, seafood's not a carb. <laughs> Pasta, definitely. So they do though. have balance and everything, but... Get this going. And you want this garlic really fine, so you just pretty much chop it as much as you can, and then I'll kind of press on it to release some of the oils and chop it some more. And with the potatoes, just especially because we just washed them, they're wet, and so they're sticking to this knife. So just a note, just be a little careful if you're cutting them up in that mm. fashion. I've been watching Top Chef, so you can see I'm all trying to be like, ah. His knife skills are improving. Based solely on a TV show. <laughs> That's what all it is, watch and learn. We watch a lot of those uh, chef shows. Oh, yeah, a it's lot. It's not just Top Chef, although they are definitely helpful. In the Salt Bay. I'm watching the Salt Bay. <laughs> yeah. There we go. He's more like a ninja, though. I like him. Now I'm kind of pressing that to release some of the oils, and I'm just kind of chopping some more. And really, um, 
You may want to take a clove and do it on the microplane for what you're going to add into the burger. I don't know. Um, no, that's all this. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I kind of like it like this because it's all about really getting the oils out. I'm not really a big fan of microplaning. I know other people kind of are, but I like this. Look how good it's getting. He just likes it because he gets to use a big knife. That's right. That's right. Mm. Try that whole grill apron thing. What? I get to use a giant knife? I know, right? So manly. It's so manly. I don't get to hunt things anymore. I mean, he probably could, but like we haven't, so. I never really was a hunter. I did it enough to know how because I always felt it was important to know how. But I didn't like it. I'd rather hunt with my camera, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I never wanted to be stuck out where I couldn't feed myself or my family, so I do have that skill set. My brother-in-law, Bob, is a master hunter. He was a marine sniper, so learning from him really kind of <laughs> showed me what's what. Oh, look at that, man. You're doing it. Okay. I'll get this yeah. pan ready for you. It's a little hot. Don't touch that side. It's more we had it sitting on the oven that's preheating. I didn't realize it would heat that that much. Yeah, that does. That top mm -hmm. of that oven does get really hot. Kind of leaks it a little bit. Oh yeah. Chop chop. I'm here on standby. <laughs> Ready for the pan. So you burn your hands off. I like you. No, one side's really cool. The other hand kind of got me. Right here, just slide it off. Shaboom. Perfect. Just for the record, I did not remotely cut these evenly. So. <laughs> yeah, I never. Did. Lots of fun there. Robot. Let's see if you did that. Right, we'll put oil on it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, she's she's going a little OCD, y'all. It happens. <laughs> but this is hot, so I have to set it down. So yep. you're, 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 missing you're, you're missing the train. You're missing the train. Now, we also put oil on these and salt and uh, pepper. And some half the spice blend is going on there as well. Here, how about this? Mm. I'll hold it, but you have to add the stuff. So they can see. Are your fingers gonna burn off? No, no, the ones I heard it's here. pretty hot. No, <laughs> oh. it depends how long she takes. I heard I might miss the train. That's right. You want me to see you missing it again? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is not salt and pepper. I don't know if you watched me do this before, but it takes a minute. I was messing with her. I was well aware. He has in a mood tonight. Oh, no, <laughs> and the train's leaving again. <laughs> <laughs> There are so many words that come to mind that I can't say. Adorable. Oh, oh no. Delightful, I entertaining, <laughs> creatively charismatic. I know, I'm looking at that one. Creatively, creatively charis charismatic. charismatic. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> that's the word. And you're going to use uh, some of this other stuff, so only uh, use half of it. Yep. And if you'll mix that up. Get your hands dirty there, baby. Oh, I need to use the spatula, so oh, I have to get my, my hands My hands are so much more effective. Yeah. Like, I. Oh. No, I got this. So I just kind of do this. I would use my hands, y'all. Well, no one's stopping you. Get in there, Lara. In there. I'm not getting in front of that spatula, that's for sure. Oh, well, that's, that's smart advice. That's smart advice. Don't mess with a fat man and his spatula. <laughs> no, but I like it this way because it just kind of gets them rolling around. But it depends on your pan and this, uh, what everything you're using. This one's pretty big. It's got high sides. I'm not really worried about losing anything. It's kind and of just rolling around. And as we saw with the garlic earlier, yeah. he's not really worried about losing anything anyway. No, <laughs> yeah, true. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Very nicely done. Delicious. And these oh, go in for uh, how long? Those are going to go in for about 20 minutes. Um, go ahead and set that timer. Yep, just making sure. Yeah, 7 to 18 is the official. Oh, well, uh, That's going. A minute over, like, now. Well, I like there a little. Went. Went. No, I'm just kidding. Boom. I'm going to add the garlic. Yeah. Mm, look at that. Beautiful. And he even remembered to use the wrong side of the knife. Good job. No. Well, I don't. Just depends. She always gets on me, but I like using the other side sometimes. No. I give him praise, and he tells me why. Because you said the wrong. Do it that not way. wrong. I'm just saying. Doesn't invalidate my other times of using uh -huh. that side. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, will you get me the beef? Of course. It's beef time. Well, I mess with this if you want to start doing that cheese. Absolutely. So this cheese, the recipe says to, behind you with a knife, just drying that off a little, um, to grate it on the large side of a box grater. If you've watched the show, if you know us, we don't have one of those. Yeah. Well, we really don't want to acquire one. So That's I'm right. just going to cut this into thin pieces and then cut it up a little more to kind of equivocate grating it. Because it's more fun that way, y'all. I think so. That's how I you get those so. knife skills Gerald David was talking about. <laughs> Taste practice. Mm -hmm. While she does that, you'll see me over here 
starting to mix the beef and the garlic in together. So first, I gotta kind of kind of just roll it around in there. I'm just trying to work with my hands. Gotta get in there and get dirty. You know, and make sure your hands are clean. I of course have washed mine. Make sure you do the same. Which I guess is kind of like, you know, goes without saying. Just but. depends on how dirty you want to get. <laughs> <laughs> Not that dirty. It's COVID. I want to keep it pretty clean in the kitchen. And everywhere. Be safe, y'all. That's right. The, um, get that garlic in there. Yummy. See, and I also like the chunks of garlic because they'll release the oils. Oh my gosh, uh, that smells so good. Right? Mostly I'm smelling the garlic, not the raw beef. Mm -hmm. Tear it, it apart and mix it back together. Get that even consistency in there. Oh, will you heat the skillet up? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and turn that on. Do you want avocado oil or olive oil? Olive oil. Okay. We're going to go ahead and heat the skillet up to uh, medium high, which is like number four in ours. She's going to add some olive oil and let that start heating while I mess with this. Guess how much olive oil I added, y'all? A drizzle. <laughs> you would be correct, sir. It's always a drizzle. It's not fair because you already knew, so. I know. We're going to ever answer. We don't have time to publish, read comments, come back, re-edit a post op. One day we'll have time to do trivia, y'all. Maybe there'll be prizes. That's right. Aprons and whatnot. Yeah, we should have merch coming soon. We're looking at a couple different offers. It's hard because there's a lot, you know, um, to go through and figure out what's the best quality. And we've been ordering samples and checking that out. But be on the lookout for two aprons merch, mugs, and of course aprons. <laughs> uh, we're coming up with a cookbook. That's going to be awesome. Yas, Very exciting. Mm. I always wanted to be published. I never knew it would be a cookbook. Oh, that's, that's true. Huh. My first thing I ever had published was a poem, I think in fifth grade. Aww. For one of those little books they put out of like, you know, it's all yes. kids. You know, it's not... My daughter Abby had some poetry published yes. in that. Mm -hmm. I like those. My first thing I had published was an article. No, an essay. Yeah. Oh, really? Will you switch that around for me? My of hands course. are contaminated. It is not ready yet. No, but I just wanted on. to cover that and I knew it would be a little soon, but. And she's just swishing around so the paint has a nice cover to it. So, yeah, I'll cut that down a little bit more because it's almost going to have to be like shredded. So, like that pretty much, but I chop it like two more times that way. Like that? Mm hmm. Shredded cheese is actually pretty long. The, um, so I feel like yeah. that's good. No, I like that. Okay. I like that. Go ahead and throw that in there. There's going to be some of the mayonnaise. Alrighty. I'm just kind of breaking this up as I go. Yeah, because that's really together. the best way. And then when you mix it together, too, it'll also kind of break up a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I don't want to, yeah, I think you're better off with a little bit too big pieces than too long. The two big pieces kind of help form since you're kind of putting it on top of a burger. So what um, we're making here, guys, is pimento cheese, mm -hmm. which if you grew up in the South, you have definitely had yeah. before. <laughs> you know, don't do that one down here. No. It's not possible. It's like sweet tea. <laughs> it is. No you're one cares it. if you like it or, or not. Or potato you're salad or That's any right. other mayonnaise-based product. That's right. <laughs> but these are going to be pimento cheese burgers. So this is just the pimento cheese going on top. And basically the pimento cheese is just a mixture of the cheese, um... The picante peppers, which we're gonna chop up, and then mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah, which I can't touch, but it's right there. Uh, the remaining part of the spice blend, and oh, we gotta chop these little peppers. And these are uh, what kind of peppers are these? Those are picante, sweet picante, picante peppers. Picante peppers. Which is why when they're pickled, it works so well because when they're pickled picante peppers. Which Ooh. is hard to say, pickled picante peppers. And you know I love alliteration. That's right. I like. Makes it. me happy. What if there are pirates searching for pickles? <laughs> Picante peppers. I'm trying to think of a word that starts with a P that means searching. Pirates picking pickled picante peppers? Pirates plundering pickled picante peppers? There you go. Peppers. That was brilliant. Look at you. Look at you, up. sir. Do you think this is about ready? Yes. I, I think do. that is. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do, and you've seen how I formed patties here. Not too bad. This meat sticks together. If you ever have meat that fights you a little bit, there's a couple different techniques. Um, some people will mix in an egg, you can crack in a raw egg and that'll help take the patty form. Or you can make a ball, put it on the skillet, and then just kind of press it down. Uh, that way it's not like fighting and falling through your fingers. These are actually really good. The garlic's help and hold it together along with really good meat that helps. Um, will you set a timer for four minutes? Yes. It's four minutes per that. side. So as soon as those hit, we are ready to go. Yep, and we got that sizzle we want. And if you'll help me wash my hands, because it's my favorite yes, part. Of course. Getting it in, getting in, I should sing my ABCs. You know me. I don't know my ABCs. Basically, it's 20 seconds. I've also heard the Happy Birthday song or the chorus of Jolene by Dolly That's Parton right. will uh, work. The Sorry. Happy Birthday song is no longer uh, protected, it is now public domain. So you can sing it even on camera. That's right, that's right. 
This was people. never a problem for my family. Well, that's true. What was a problem for my family was realizing it was a video camera and not a still camera. So <laughs> when you pointed it at people, they didn't just freeze and stand there awkwardly. <laughs> we have a lot of videos of that. But you have to understand, when I was growing up, that was like a new thing. No, that makes sense. Not everyone had those. We, yeah, we didn't have that. There are no video cameras in any of my family events. That didn't happen. Not even a little bit. Y'all, it was so awkward. You're so lucky to know the move and picture no. You know what? I can't say never. That's right, because we had family videos. Uncle Vinny, um, he, Vincent, that's right, he had a camera. And there are, there is family videos of our Christmases. Not your cousin Vinny? Back in the 80s. I know, right? <laughs> no, he's exactly the opposite. He was like a general in the Navy, or the Attorney General, or something super high up, like impressive. Wow. Like could give you a tour of the aircraft character he, carrier he was the can, uh, the captain on. That's awesome. Yeah, he's a badass. He definitely is. He uh, now has a website called Politibull. Because he definitely has a lot of political opinions and whatnot, and he's very well informed. So if you guys want to check that out, Politi Bull. That's also on Facebook. Ooh, look at that. So we've got our pimento cheese going here. Yeah, look for Vincent Scott on Politi Bull. It's awesome. Ooh, yes, that's going to be perfect. Look at that. And we're doing a half and half situation. One burger is going to get pimento cheese. The other one's going to get cheddar. So if some of you guys are just traditionalists, boom, we got you covered. I'll clean up a little bit and clear the deck. Thank you, sir. Mm. I love it when he does that. <laughs> and this is not quite as small as shredded, but it is definitely doing the trick. And honestly, I'd rather have the kind of bigger pieces. Yeah, I would too. Just because I'm more smart. into that flavor. Of a little more cheese than a little more. Yeah, I think that's mixing. clever. Here we go, we have some beautiful pimento cheese here. It may not look traditional, but that's okay. We're not traditional in this also. <laughs> Let me check that out. Oh, that looks good. I right. like that. But Yummy. you would look at that and be like, pimento cheese. I don't think it's pimento cheese, so I don't think I know. It's I don't know. not orange enough. Ah. Yeah. If you've seen southern pimento cheese, that stuff is practically day glow. So, so is that just spices they're adding to give it that color? Or is it like that's an island dressing or something? It depends. Um, I think it could be either. And sometimes I think it's just dye, depending on where you're getting it. Oh, I get that. <laughs> the I lower is. end is definitely, um, there's some questionable whatever. So like I would go for homemade every time. Just oh, dude, yeah. A word to the wise. You know, sometimes you don't have time. So we understand that. Some sure, sure. Sweet or whatever. But if you get it at like a reputable bakery or a grocery store that has like a um, that section or whatever, you should be fine. It's just some of the really lower end products that are like possibly. I don't want to say red dye forty because that's wrong, but I feel like orange dye forty or whatever. Oh, something like that. Oh, there. that's the burgers. All right, so we're gonna flip those bad boys now. Mm, those look great. Ooh, I love the visible garlic. Like that's yes. phenomenal. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. And y'all, he'll show you as soon as he gets these flipped because they're gorgeous. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Oh, look and I'm going to start that timer <laughs> again. Don't let him fall out. That's right. Ooh. Perfect. And if you need to, use the, the pan with the big size. <laughs> I like that. That's perfect. Yeah, those are looking phenomenal. So another four minutes on that, another yep. six minutes on that. Oh, you want six or four? No, 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 no. I was just reading off what's oh. left on the potatoes. Oh, gotcha. We got six minutes. I'll take a peek at those potatoes. Yeah. A peek at the potatoes. They're looking oh, good. Dang. They're browning up nicely. They're not to the blackened effect that Daryl David likes. Yeah, but. so we're going to leave them in definitely a little bit longer because I do appreciate a little bit of uh, color on mine. And the that trick, really good. And the trick to a good burger, which I'm stealing from uh, Tom Colicchio or whatever on Top Chef, is you want it to be juicy. You know, you want it to be that good, medium, rare, medium. Um, you can always throw it back on. So if you're your own cook, you know, I really strive to have that little bit of pink in the center and really, really juicy. Um, if you're getting it at a random spot, man, it just comes down to how much do you trust him. You know what I mean? Just quality of beef and everything like that's different when you're out in the wild. But in your own house, you can get a lot of really good flavors uh, by keeping it juicy. That's why I'm not pressing on it a lot. You know, I'm kind of letting it do its thing. If I want to heat that center a little bit more, if I want to make sure that center gets a little bit done, you can cover it. And that will help cook that center a little bit. And I'll usually do that, like, we have two minutes remaining, so I'll do that for the next two minutes, and that will help get some of the center in there without you pressing the juice down. Yeah, and I was going to say, the pressing thing is, when you press it, that juice comes out, mm -hmm. and it doesn't always reabsorb. So that's right. you want it. That's why you don't want to, if you see people press on meat, like, 
that's one thing that you want to avoid that whenever you can, just to keep those juices mm -hmm. inside the meat. Unless you're braising or something, but yeah, it just depends on your different techniques. But I think, yeah, for the most part, you don't want to be doing that. For the same reason we don't poke a steak. You know, you'll see tons of people do it, but I don't like to do it. We poke lots of other things. <laughs> That's <not> right. <laughs> this pimento cheese looks awesome. Yeah. These buns we can kind of pull open and get ready. And we're going to toast those before we put the hamburger yeah. on, so that's an important point to know. Toasted buns. Keep your buns toasted. Especially in the fall. That's oh, right. man. Especially in the fall, right? And grilling um, burgers is like a little bit different, you know, because you have the flame and just teaching you how to set up a grill. It takes a little bit, you know. Uh, the grill usually takes, you pretty much don't want to fire up a grill for two burgers. You know what I mean? Unless it's really tiny. Because when you put the that. charcoal and stuff on it, if it's protein, propane, maybe it's a little bit different. But you're just exhausting a lot of resources getting that fire to the level it needs to be. Because you're going to mess with that fire a little bit and get it to the exact right level to be able to, be able to cook and not just burn. Um, and that just is a lot. You know, you don't really want to do that for two burgers. And another solution to that could be a grill pan. We don't yeah. have one. Yeah. But if they exist, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've to put the them, marks so, on them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but also... Ooh, Yummy. That fills burgers. I don't like to grill them sometimes too because it lets a lot of juices fall through. So it's a trade off. You're losing juice, but you're gaining smokiness. So, no, neither one's wrong. They both have their place. It depends. Just depends. Depends on what you want. Yep. Oh, look at that. Ooh, looking pretty, y'all. I'm getting very southern. The pimento cheese has done something. It has, has, look right? It has. It's kicked Look in. at that. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. Meat. <laughs> All right, wash the splatter. And even though splatter. I don't eat it, I can appreciate that it looks pretty. So. That's right, that's right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to pour just a touch of this grease into another pan. Just a touch. The recipe says to toast your buns in this, but they'll just be a sopping mess. It's so much juice, which is good. Is which is good. Um, so we have another pan here. I'm going to heat it up just for a little bit. And like you said, we just transferred a little bit of that juice in there, so mm -hmm. it's getting like a tiny bit, but not the sopping up like sogginess that it would be That's in right. the other pan. Let the burger sop up that bun upon presentation, not during the toasting part. You know, so we'll get that going. Our potatoes are almost done. Let me pick on those. Oh, look at that. My favorite part of the meal, part personally, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> so pretty much once those are done, we'll be about ready to throw those buns on here. <laughs> Toast those buns. Toast our buns. I'm going to heat this a little bit hotter than we did for the meat and turn that up to a solid five, which Ooh. is going to be a, an actual solid medium high, not the kind of ish one we Getting typically do. Getting crazy over there. I know, I know. We'll go ahead and get our plates ready. You put a grilling apron on him now, I swear. I know. <laughs> I am the grill master. I have ferrets. Oh, no, that's the beast what? master. <laughs> That's right, that's the beast master who has ferrets. To Somebody's be, a master and they have ferrets. To be clear, we do not have ferrets, nor do I want ferrets. Please do not she send us ferrets. <laughs> ferrets are awesome. Uh, they're like small possums that don't really do anything. Um, they don't terrify me. <laughs> they're awesome. You have to be kind of old to know what beast master is, so that's for the old fogies of the group. I don't expect everyone to get that. Or like, What's typically up, to have pet ferrets. <laughs> Wait, people have ferrets, that's a thing? Have ferrets young. I have, yet, I have I not met a young person. In they're too expensive for young people. You know, mm -hmm. young people like free pets. You know, like lizards and such that they find. Free lizards. Yeah, and cats. Cats are pretty much free. If you catch one. Oh, that's the potatoes. That is the potatoes. What? Sorry, what you just said sank in. That yes. took me a sec. Oh, yummy. Look at Ooh, these guys. Those are beautiful. Are they as dark as you want them? Yeah. Okay, cool. Boom, perfect. Turn that off. Awesome. Yummy. I'll go ahead and start plating these. Yes, please. Got our two types of cheese. We're going to toast our buns. And y'all, this is a pretty simple recipe. I'm loving it. It is. It is. Not much. Last time was down and dirty. This one's similar. Well, it just depends how many burgers you're making. If you have kids, you'll just multiply this, you know? Very true. In um, the pan, obviously, we have two pans. You could do them at the same time. So it still doesn't oh, yeah. multiply the time by a lot. You're just forming two more patties. Absolutely. So that works out. Or however many children you have. You can do potatoes. You can buy a whole bag of potatoes, chop them down, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. They're a great thing to keep in the house just as a staple. And the baked potato is always a classic, too, you know? Ooh, right? Yeah. And, fry. Like and the baked chips you make at home, like when you make your own little home fries or whatever in the oven, is way healthier than a bag of Doritos. And you can flavor them any way, right? So you can put like any of those spices that you want to on them. Italian seasoning is good, like a yeah. little bit of cayenne, like there's a lot you can do. And if you it's use delicious. the healthy ketchup, you don't have the high corn, uh, high fructose corn syrup. 
And just stay away from ranch because there's <laughs> not a, a healthy iteration of that that tastes good. So. Greek yogurt, the Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt, yogurt is not good. ranch. No, but you can kind of make your own Greek yogurt. You ranch. can, and I make my own Greek yogurt, um, like seasoned Greek yogurt dip all the time with like red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper flakes, nutritional yeast, a little bit of garlic salt, pepper, like oh, yeah, she anything does I want to throw the in there. Yeah. It's definitely healthier than ranch. I try to do that more often because otherwise I'd have a problem, y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It would be an issue. <laughs> ranch is amazing, though. It is. I love some ranch. So. Y'all heard me say it. I could beat Fear Factor with a packet of ranch in my pocket. Most of the South could, I feel like. I think that's true. I, I feel like that's, that's true. yeah. Valid. Let me get this done, and we'll be ready to toast our buns. Ooh. In fact, I'll go and put those on Been there. Been looking forward to that. When you throw those on there, Kitty. Absolutely. A face down, yeah. That's there. Ooh. Yeah, don't touch it. No, well, it's it got away from me a little bit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's not as easy a look, as it looks, y'all. I think that's just going to be for 30 <laughs> seconds is all we'll need oh, there. Oh, for real? Yep. Okay. I'm going to put a timer on for one minute, just for fun. Oh, yeah. Because I will lose track of time in 30 seconds. It's happened before. It's easy to do. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's easy to do. Just, you get distracted. You're doing something else. You look up. Three minutes have gone by. And, you know, that's not good when you're looking for 30 seconds. Let's see if we got a good toast on those. Oh, yeah. Oh, very yeah. nice. We'll leave it on just a little yeah. bit. Just a tiny bit more. Yeah, it's hot. But it's coming along. It is. All oh, these burgers look so good. We grab the. No, we'll get toppings oh, yeah. after. Oh, okay. Oh, then we gotta do our cheese. And it's pretty much gonna melt the minute you start putting it on there. So you don't want this sitting on the table. You're gonna put it on the burger before it goes out. And if you'll leave me a little bit of the pimento cheese oh, on yeah. the burger, that would be great. Oh, boom. Oh, all right. That's a minute on our toasted buns there. All oh, right. Look at this guy. Boom. Ooh, so pretty. Boom. Burger. Maybe take that off the heat while you're, yeah. <laughs> Just so we don't burn our buns. Never a good thing. <laughs> That's right. You've been, You've been to the beach. Oh, yeah. Making sure I have bottoms on bottoms and tops on tops. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm bringing these over here while he does that. So y'all can see us dress them. That's right, kiddo with the cheese, cheddar on one, pimento on the other. Absolutely. Use my hands for the cheddar, because honestly, why not? I know, right? And that is kind of rolling off there. What is? The cheddar. Oh, that's just fine. Because it's not bound together by anything. No, I mean, you just put it on there, it kind of melt. Yep. Yeah. And then for our second one, we're going to dress it in the pimento as per the recipe. And that sits a little bit better just because it's bound together by that mayonnaise. And there we go, y'all. We'll be there in just a second. Absolutely. Find me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we clean as we go. Like, if you wash this pan right after, it is definitely um, oh, going to yeah. do better than if you let that sit till you're done eating and then try to scrub it out. Way better. So, it's just, Way it may have better. fought him a little, but it would have fought him a lot if he had let that sit. <laughs> she right about that. So, here's our toppers. Mmm. Look at those gorgeous mm. burgers. They're so thick and juicy. I'm that loving is, this. That like is very delightful. Boutique. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. All right, Miss Kitty. Mm-hmm. Whew, how's my hair? Fantastic as is always. It? No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It'll look like a, no, I just mean it's not. I just mean it's not always. <laughs> no, there are times I look like a train wreck. <laughs> Only when he wakes oh, up in the morning that. before. It's melting all it nice. Oh, it's mm -hmm. so juicy, so delicious. All right, y'all. That's a dinner done well right there. Pimento, cheeseburgers, and cheddar cheeseburgers. <laughs> and roasted potatoes. Bye, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. Bye, merch. Bye. <laughs> Bye.